Hello YouTubers, this is Lats, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom GUI sounds with Cody. Now you heard on my other videos the uh, sounds it makes when I'm moving around on the screen or I get notifications. Well, I made my own custom sounds and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now if you're using the default skin sounds from Silence ROM, again I'm using the CCM skin. So if you go into that folder that has the sounds, that's the ccm.silencerom folder, you go into sounds. Now these are the wave files that it plays when it does the different sounds you hear, like the notify when a notification pops up, we'll play that one. So that's what you always hear when something pops up. Now you can make your own custom sounds, but they have to match these file names. And because in this sounds.xml folder, or the file, you'll see cursor.wave, back.wave, all of those are referenced in this XML file. So you want to make sure when you make your own sounds that they have these same names. And I'm going to show you the sounds that I made in this lats folder I named all of mine the same and I used one the, the same sounds.xml file because they all have the same name as the one that was in the Cody skin and you've heard these so you hear my notification wave and I got these from a uh, website I found that had a bunch of Cody sounds. If you go back a folder, you can see all of these different folders. I'll include a link to where I got these sounds, and you can use whatever WAV files you want. Like I said, as long as you name them the same as the existing files, you'll be fine. So I'm going to show you how to install those, and you can do this while Cody is open. So we'll go ahead and open Cody. Okay, so if you go into System, down to Appearance, and over here you see by default the GUI sounds are the skin built-in sounds. Those are the ones I showed you in the CCM folder. And you can hear them, you just heard the notification and it disappeared. You hear the click as I'm going up and down. So if you want to make your own folder of sounds, like this lats folder I have, I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go into that Cody folder. And if, if you want to make custom sounds, as soon as you get into Cody, you see a sounds folder. I've already got a couple of other ones that I've already put in here, so I'm gonna paste that lats folder in here, and then I'm gonna go back to Cody, click on the GUI sounds, and it shows, it recognizes that folder as soon as I put it in there. So now I'm using my sounds, and you'll hear the difference now. I'll go back. So that's it. That's how you install custom sounds. Uh, if you have any problems, comment below and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.